Well, who have you got there, Martin? It's Tim the cactus. Oh my god. Ahoy there. Ah, ahoy there, Al. Do you want to get in the canoe? Yeah, I will. Yeah, okay. Hello, and welcome to Cactus in a Canoe. Here we are. I'm on a canoe, or it's technically speaking, it's a cactus. No, it's not. It's a kayak. But <laughs> we'll call it Cactus in a Canoe. Here's Tim the cactus. Let's get him seated down here. Can you see him? There he is. Seated down there, all comfortable, <laughs> ready for the interview with Al from Starkey and the Moon Doctor. Big cheer for Al! I'm aboard Cactus in a Canoe. Thank you, thank you. You feeling comfortable on I the water? Feel, yeah, I feel very comfortable and happy to be aboard. So Al, you're from Starkey and the Moon Doctor. Um, when I see it, I think, what's going on? Uh, what are you trying to do? Are you mental? Um, no, we're not. No, it's not. It's, uh, what it's about is, it's, it's, uh, me and Star well, Starkey. Are you Starkey? I'm the Moon Doctor. Why are you the Moon Doctor? We were trying to think of a name and um, I saw this band, the Reading Band. They were called, uh, who were they called? Uh, Graham and the um, Moonbeams. Yeah. And I liked Moon Doctor, so I, I, came, I used that, the Moon Doctor. And Sean came up with Starkey because uh, we were trying to think of a catchy name. And we, we, we talk about the Beatles, Ringo Starr, and his name is Richard Starkey, and that's how we got it. And it's just a collect, a collect of ideas, uh, you know, socio-political, uh, things going on, uh, pers you know, personal gripes, stuff like that. So Channeling it into mine. What what grapes have you got? Just uh, you know uh, the, the. I know it sounds all a bit cliche and everything, but just you know, especially the stuff going on with the banks, the inequality, how they're still, how they're still, even though we bailed we bailed them out, they're um, they're still getting loads of money. Uh, there's people in the world who haven't got running water, uh, climate change. Know, Everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you put that all into yeah, what? Yeah, we sort of channel it in. We channel yeah. it into this all the mime stuff. Do you think people know what you're talking about? Um, probably not. No, no. Yeah, and because um, sometimes you come out smiling, sometimes you come out frowning. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, it's because you're a big lad. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think it's uh, personally speaking, it's. Um, it's it's how how the whole thing went because uh, when I'm doing when we're doing the act, um, I, I just like to know. You know, there can be faux pas when we're doing it. It's you know, we, there are usually slip ups like uh, bits of equipment not working or Sean jumping up and down and smacking his head on the ceiling and, and, and you know falling over. So it, that's what it is really. Yeah, I, I do take it all too seriously because it's it's uh, Sean and I's little pet project. We're sort of nurturing it after a year and a half. Okay, let's just pour out the tea from the kettle. There you go. All right, I've passed it. There you go. Lovely. So, uh, do you feel nice and relaxed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Um, can I? Relax and horizontal. Yeah, you relax there. And um, what do you think of um, life out on the Thames? It is, is some, well, it's like everything when you live in a city next to a river, you just take it for granted. And you never, I, I never really use it that much. And, and today it just makes me realize how uh, beautiful, cost free, and it's such a great experience it all is. And it's a nice soothing taste. Yeah. Because I just drink coffee mostly, and it just gives me that power hit for work. and. Uh, it's an instant kick, but this is very soothing. Yeah. Ideal for a Sunday. Yeah. Get off my boat. I thought we were just having a very nice, relaxed, but all right, be like that. Get off my boat. Just, uh, 